Bita. Bitala is a city in the southwestern part of the Republic of Macedonia. It is located in the southern part of the Pelagonia Valley, surrounded by the Baba, Nids and Kajmakalan mountain ranges, north of the Medzidlianiki border crossing with Greece. The city stands at an important junction connecting the south of the Adriatic Sea region with the Aegean Sea in Central Europe, and is an administrative, cultural, industrial, commercial, an educational center. It has been known since the Ottoman period as the city of the consuls, since many European countries had consulates in Bita. Bita lies one of the oldest cities on the territory of the Republic of Macedonia, having been founded as Heraclea Lynchestis in the middle of the 4th century B.C. Philip II of Macedon. The city was the last capital of Ottoman Rumelia, from 1836 to 1867. According to the 2002 census, Bitala is the second largest city in the country. Bitala is also the seat of the Bitala municipality. The name Bitala is derived from the old church Slavonic word, abital, meaning monastery, cloister, as the city was formerly noted for its monastery. When the meaning of the name was no longer understood, it lost its prefix O. The name Bitala is mentioned in the Bitala inscription. Related to the old city fortress built in 1015 during the ruling of Gavril Radomir of Bulgaria, 1014 to 1015, when Bitala served as capital of the first Bulgarian Empire. Modern Slavic variants include the Macedonian Bitala, the Serbian Bitoli, and Bulgarian Bitolia. In Byzantine times, the name was Hellenized to Valtelian, Beta Omicron Upsilon Tau Lambda Iota Omicron Nu, or Vitolia, Beta Iota Tau Lambda Iota Alpha. Hence the names Butella used by William of Tyre and Butili by the Arab geographer al idrisi The Aramanian name is Bichili. The Greek name for the city, Monastery, Mu Omicron Nu Alpha Sigma Tau Rho Iota, also meaning monastery, is a calc of the Slavic name. The Turkish name Monastiar, is derived from the Greek name, as is the Albanian name, Manastir, and the Ladino name, Monastir. Bitala is located in the southwestern part of Macedonia. The Trira River flows through the city. Bitala lies at an elevation of 615 meters above sea level, at the foot of Baba Mountain. Its magnificent Palister Mountain, 2,601 meters, is a national park with exquisite flora and fauna, among which is the rarest species of pine, known as Macedonian pine or Pinus puce, as well as a well-known ski resort. Covering an area of, and with a population of 122,173, 1991, Bitala is an important industrial, agricultural, commercial, educational, and cultural center. It represents an important junction that connects the Adriatic Sea to the south with the Aegean Sea in Central Europe. Bitala has a mild humid continental climate typical of the Pelagonia region, experiencing warm and dry summers, and cold and snowy winters. The Kutvan climate classification for this climate is CFB. Bitala is very rich in monuments from the prehistoric period. Two important ones are Vilas Katumba and Baratumba near the village of Porodin. From the Copper Age, there are the settlements of Tumba near the village of Kurnobuki, Suplavek near the village of Suvadal, and Vizokrid near the village of Bukri. The Bronze Age is represented by the settlements of Tumba near the village of Kanino and the settlement with the same name near the village of Karamani. The area of the town is located in ancient Linkstis, a region of Upper Macedonia, which was ruled by semi-independent chieftains till the later Argead rulers of Macedon. The tribes of Linkstis were known as Linkstai. They were a Greek tribe and belonged to the Molossian group of the Epirotes. There are important metal artifacts from the ancient period at the necropolis of Krukdish near the village of Brinci. A golden earring dating from the 4th century BC is depicted on the obverse of the Macedonian Tentiner banknote, issued in 1996. Heraclea Lynchestis, city of Hercules upon the land of the Lynx, was an important settlement from the Hellenistic period till the early Middle Ages. It was founded by Philip II of Macedon by the middle of the 4th century BC, and named after the Greek hero Heracles. With its strategic location, it became a prosperous city. The Romans conquered this part of Macedon in 148 BC and destroyed the political power of the city. However, its prosperity continued mainly due to the Roman Via Egnatia Road which passed near the city. Several monuments from the Roman times remain in Heraclea, including a portico, thermi, baths, an amphitheater and a number of basilicas. The theater was once capable of housing an audience of around 3,000 people. In the early Byzantine period, 4th to 6th centuries AD, 
Heraclea was an important episcopal center. Some of its bishops were mentioned in the Acts of the Church Councils, including Bishop of Agrius of Heraclea in the Acts of the Sardica Council of 343. A small and a great, large, basilica, the bishop's residence, and a funeral basilica near the necropolis are some of the remains of this period. Three naves in the great basilica are covered with mosaics of very rich floral and figurative iconography. These well-preserved mosaics are often regarded as fine examples of the early Christian art period. During the 4th and 6th centuries, the names of other bishops from Heraclea were recorded. The city was sacked by Ostrogothic forces, commanded by Theodoric the Great in 472 and, despite a large gift to him from the city's bishop, it was sacked again in 479. It was restored in the late 5th and early 6th centuries. In the late 6th century, the city suffered successive attacks by Slavic tribes and was gradually abandoned. In the 6th and 7th centuries, the region around Bitala experienced a demographic shift as more and more Slavic tribes settled in the area. In place of the deserted theater, several houses were built during that time. The Slavs also built a fortress around their settlement. Bitala became a part of the first Bulgarian Empire from middle the 8th to early 11th centuries. The spread of Christianity was assisted by St. Clement of Oradin Naum of Preslav in the 9th and early 10th centuries. Many monasteries and churches were built in the city. In the 10th century, Bitala was under the rule of the Bulgarian Tsar Samuel. He built a castle in the town, later used by his successor Gavriel Radomir of Bulgaria. The town is mentioned in several medieval sources. John Skylights' is his 11th century chronicle mentions that Emperor Basil II burned Gavriel's castles in Bitala, when passing through and ravaging Pelagonia. The Second Crucible, 1019, of Basil II mentioned that the bishop of Bitala depended on the archbishop Rikoforid. During the reign of Samuel, the city was an important center in the Bulgarian state and the seat of the Bitala bishopric. In many medieval sources, especially Western, the name Pelagonia was synonymous with the Bitala bishopric, and in some of them Bitala was known under the name of Heraclea due to the church tradition that turned the Heraclea bishopric into the Pelagonian Metropolitan's Diocese. In 1015, Tsar Gavriel Radomir was killed by his cousin Ivan Vladislav, who declared himself Tsar and rebuilt the city fortress. To celebrate the occasion, a stone inscription written in the Cyrillic alphabet was set in the fortress, in it the Slavic name of the city is mentioned, Bital. Following battles with the Tsar Ivan Vladislav, Byzantine Emperor Basil II recaptured Monastery in 1015. The town is mentioned as an episcopal center in 1019 inches a record by Basil II. Two important uprisings against Byzantine rule took place in the Bitala area in 1040 and 1072. After the Bulgarian state was restored in the late 12th century, Bitala was incorporated under the rule of Tsar Kalyan of Bulgaria. It was conquered again by Byzantium at the end of the 13th century, but it became part of Serbia in the first half of the 14th century, after the conquests of Stefan Dusan. As a military, political, and cultural center, Bitala played a very important role in the life of the medieval society in the region, prior to the Ottoman conquest in the mid 14th century. On the eve of the Ottoman conquest, Bitala, monastery in Ottoman Turkish, experienced great growth with its well-established trading links all over the Balkan Peninsula, especially with big economic centers like Constantinople, Thessalonica, Ragusa, and Tarnovo. Caravans of various goods moved to and from Bita. From 1382 to 1912, Monestir, now Bitala, was part of the Ottoman Empire. Fierce battles took place near the city during the arrival of Ottoman forces. Ottoman rule was completely established after the death of Prince Marco in 1395 when Ottoman Empire established the Sanjak of Orid as a part of the Romelia I Alley and one of earliest established Sanjaks in Europe. Before it became part of the Ottoman Empire in 1395 its initial territory belonged to the realm of Prince Marco. Initially its county town was Bitala and later it was Orit so it was initially sometimes referred to as Sanjak of Monastir or Sanjak of Bita. After the Austro-Ottoman Wars, the trade development and the overall thriving of the city was stifled. But in the late 19th century, it again it became the second biggest city in the wider southern Balkan region after Salonika. In 1874, Monastir became the center of Monastir Vilayet which included the Sanyaks of Debra, Serfids, Elbasan, Monastir, Bitala. Gerishan towns of Krcaova, Perp, Florina, Kesri, and Grevena. Traditionally a strong trading center, Bitala is also known as the city of the consuls. 
In the final period of the Ottoman rule, 1878 to 1912, Bitawa had consulates from 12 countries. During the same period, there were a number of prestigious schools in the city, including a military academy that, among others, was attended by the famous Turkish reformer Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Bitawa was also the headquarters of many cultural organizations that were established at that time. There are opposing ethnographic data from that period, but it appears that no specific ethnic or religious group could claim an absolute majority of the population. According to the 1911 Ottoman census, Greeks were the largest Christian population in the Vilayet, with 740,000 Greeks, 517,000 Bulgarians, and 1,061,000 Muslims in the Vilayets of Salonik, the Saloniki, and Monastir. However, it should be noted that the basis of the Ottoman censuses was the Millet system. People were assigned an ethnicity according to their religion. So all Sunni Muslims were categorized as Turks, although many of them were Albanians, and all members of the Greek Orthodox Church as Greeks, although their numbers included a vast majority of Aramanians and South Albanians. The Slavs were divided between Bulgarian majority and small Serbian minority. Bitala's population itself was very various. It numbered some 50,000 at the end of the 19th century. There were around 7,000 Aramanians most of whom fully embraced the Hellenist ideas, although many of them joined the Romanian idea. Bitala also had significant Muslim population, 11,000, Turks, Roma, and Albanians, as well Jewish community, 5,200. The Slavic speakers were divided between the Bulgarian Exarchate, 8,000, and the Greek Patriarchate 6,300. In 1894, Monestiar was connected with Selenik by train. The first motion picture made in the Balkans was recorded by the Aramanian Menakis brothers in Monastir in 1903. In their honor, the annual Menaki Brothers International Film Camera Festival is held in modern Bita. In November 1905, the Secret Committee for the Liberation of Albania, a secret organization to fight for the liberation of Albania from the Ottoman Empire, was founded by Bajo Topoli and other Albanian nationalists and intellectuals. Three years later, the Congress of Manistur of 1908 which defined the modern Albanian alphabet was held in the city. The Congress was held at the House of Fims Avalani and led by Mitat Frasheri, chairman of the Congress. The participants in the Congress were prominent figures of the cultural and political life from Albanian inhabited territories in the Balkans, as well as throughout the Albanian diaspora. The Bitala region was a stronghold of the Alinden Uprising. The uprising was started as decided in 1903 in Thessaloniki by the Internal Macedonian Revolutionary Organization, IMRO. The uprising in the Bitala region was planned in Smilo village in May 1903. The battles were fought in the villages of Bistrica, Rikavo, Buff, Skosavir, Pralivo, Brod, Nivac, Smilvo, Kivato, Kapari and others. Smilvo was defended by 600 rebels led by Dame Groove and Georgi Sugarev, but when they were defeated, villages were burned. In 1912, Montenegro, Serbia, Bulgaria and Greece fought the Ottomans in the First Balkan War. After victory at Sarantoporo, Greek troops advanced towards Monastir but were defeated by the Ottomans at Sorovic. The Battle of Monastir, 16 November 19, 1912, led to Serbian occupation. According to the Treaty of Bucharest, 1913, the region of Macedonia was divided into three parts between Greece, Serbia, and Bulgaria, with Monastir Sedeto Serbia, given the name Bita. During World War I Bita was on the Salonika front. Bulgaria, a central power, took the city on November 21, 1915, while the Allied forces recaptured it in 1916. Bita was divided into French, Russian, Italian and Serbian sections, under the command of French General Maurice Sorail. Until Bulgaria's surrender in late autumn 1918, Bitala remained a frontline city and was almost daily bombarded by Aran Battery and suffered almost total destruction. At the end of World War I, Bitala was restored to the Kingdom of Serbia, and, consequently, became part in 1918 of the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes, renamed Yugoslavia in 1929. Bitala became one of the major cities of the Vardarska Banovina. During the World War II, 1941-45, the Germans, on April 9, 1941, and later Bulgarians, on April 18, 1941, took control of the city. But in September 1944, Bulgaria switched sides in the war and withdrew from Yugoslavia, 
and Bitaa was freed by the Yugoslav partisans. On 4 November, the 7th Macedonian Liberation Brigade entered Bitaa victoriously. A historical Jewish community, of Sephardic origin, lived in the city until World War II, when most were killed or migrated to the United States and Chile. After the end of the war, a Macedonian state was established for the first time in modern history, within Yugoslavia. This had cost about 25,000 human lives. In 1945, the first gymnasium, named Josip Broz Tito, to use the Macedonian language, was opened in Bitaa. The city has many historical buildings dating from many historical periods. The most notable ones are from the Ottoman age, but there are some from the more recent past. Siroxakak, meaning wide alley, is a long pedestrian street that runs from Magnolia Square to the city park. It is unknown when Bitala's clock tower was built. Written sources from the 16th century mention a clock tower, but it is not clear if it is the same one. Some believe it was built at the same time as St. Demetria Church in 1830. Legend says that the Ottoman authorities collected around 60,000 eggs from nearby villages and mixed them in the mortar to make the walls stronger. The tower has a rectangular base and is about 30 meters high. Near the top is a rectangular terrace with an iron fence. On each side of the fence is an iron console construction which holds the lamps for lighting the clock. The clock is on the highest of three levels. The original clock was replaced during World War II with a working one given by the Nazis because the city had maintained German graves from World War II. The massive tower is composed of walls, massive spiral stairs, wooden mezzanine constructions, pendentives and the dome. During the construction of the tower, the facade was simultaneously decorated with simple stone plastic. The Church of St. Demetrius was built in 1830 with voluntary contributions of local merchants and craftsmen. It is plain on the outside, as all churches in the Ottoman Empire had to be but of rare beauty inside, lavishly decorated with chandeliers, a carved bishop throne and an engraved iconostasis. According to some theories, the iconostasis is the work of the Mihawk engravers. Its most impressive feature is the arc above the imperial quarters with modeled figures of Jesus and the apostles. Other engraved wood items include the bishop's throne made in the spirit of Mihawk engravers, several icon frames and five more recent pillars shaped like thrones. The frescoes originate from two periods, the end of the 19th century, and the end of World War I to the present. The icons and frescoes were created thanks to voluntary contributions of local businessmen and citizens. The authors of many of the icons had a vast knowledge of iconography schemes of the New Testament. The icons show a great sense of color, dominated by a red green and ochre shades. The abundance of golden ornaments is noticeable and points to the presence of late Byzantine artwork in Baroque style. The icon of St. Demetrius is signed with the initials D. A. Z, showing that it was made by iconographer Dimitar and Don of Visigraph in 1889. There are many other items, including the chalices made by local masters, a Daro Kronilka of Russian origin, and several paintings of scenes from the New Testament, brought from Jerusalem by pilgrims. The opening scenes of the film The Peacemaker were shot in the St. Demetria Church in Bitala, as well as some Welcome to Sarajevo scenes. Heraclea Linchestis was an important ancient settlement from the Hellenistic period till the early Middle Ages. It was founded by Philip II of Macedon by the middle of the 4th century BC. Today, its ruins fall in the southern part of Bitala, from the city center. Situated near the city center, the covered bazaar is one of the most impressive and oldest buildings in Bitala from the Turkish period. With its numerous cupolas that look like a fortress, with its tree branch like inner streets and four big metal doors, it is one of the biggest covered markets in the region. It was built in the 15th century by Karadot Pasha Uzun Karsili, then Romelius Baylerbi. Although the object looks secure, many times during its existence has been robbed and set on fire, but it managed to survive. The Bazistan, from the 15th to the 19th centuries, was rebuilt, and many stores, often changing over time, were located there. Most of them were selling textile and other luxurious fabrics. At the same time the Bazistan was a treasury, where in specially made small rooms the money from the whole Romelian Vila A was kept, before it was transferred into the royal treasury. In the 19th century the Bazistan held a total of 84 shops. Today most of them are contemporary and they sell different types of products. But no matter what the internal transformations, the outer appearance has stayed unchanged. The Ghazi Hajdar Qadi Mosque is one of the most attractive monuments of Islamic architecture in Bita. It was built in the early 1560s, 
as the project of the famous architect Mimar Sinan, ordered by the Bital Akhetija Idarkadi. Over time, it was abandoned and heavily damaged, and at one point used as a stair, but recent restoration and conservation has restored to some extent its original appearance. The Jenny Mosque is located in the center of the city. It has a square base, topped with a dome. Near the mosque is a minaret, 40 meters high. Today, the mosque's rooms house permanent and temporary art exhibitions. Recent archaeological excavations have revealed that it has been built upon an old church. The Ishak Chaleba Mosque is the inheritance of the Qadi Ishak Chaleba. In its spacious yard are several tombs, attractive because of the soft, molded shapes of the sarcophagi. The old bazaar, Macedonian, is mentioned in a description of the city from the 16th and the 17th centuries. The present Bazistan does not differ much in appearance from the original one. The Bazistan had 86 shops and four large iron gates. The shops used to sell textiles, and today sell food products. The Deboj bath is a Turkish bath, hammam. It is not known when exactly it was constructed. At one point, it was heavily damaged, but after repairs it regained its original appearance, a beautiful facade, two large domes and several minor ones. Spitala is the economic and industrial center of southwestern Macedonia. Many of the largest companies in the country are based in the city. The Pelagonia Agricultural Combine is the largest producer of food in the country. The stress of the water system is the largest in the Republic of Macedonia and is the best technological facilities. The three thermoelectric power stations of Rec Bitala produce nearly 80% of electricity in the state. The Franco Refrigerate Factory was a leading electrical and metal company. Bitala also has significant capacity in the textile and food industries. Bitala is also home to 12 consulates, which gives the city the nickname the City of Consuls. Also, Albania and Italy expressed interest in opening a consulate in Bita. There are three Bita Law television stations, Terra, Orbis, and Mega, two regional radio stations, the private Radio 105, Actual Bombarder and Radio Delphin as well as a local weekly newspaper, Bitolski Vesnik. The Bita Law Municipality Council, is the governing body of the city and municipality of Bita. The city council approves and rejects projects that would have place inside the municipality given by its members and the mayor of Bita. The council consists of representatives of citizens elected by direct and free elections. The number of members of the council is determined according to the number of residents in the community and cannot be fewer than nine nor more than 33. Accordingly, the number of residents, the council of Bita Law Municipality is composed of 31 councillors. Council members are elected for a term of four years. Examining matters within its competence, the council set up committees. Council committees are formed as permanent and temporary. Permanent committees of the council. The most popular sports in Bitala are football and handball. The main football team is FK Pelister and they play at the Tumbe Cafe Stadium which has a capacity of 8,000. Georgi Kristof, Dragan Kanatlarovsky, Tony Masevsky, Nikol Snovesky. Tony Sivevsky and Mikko Stojkovsky are some of the famous Bitala natives to start their careers with the club. The main handball club and most famous sports team from Bitala is RK Pelister. RK Bitala is the second club from the city and both teams play their games at the sports hall Mlados. In the Macedonian second league, FK Navac are competing, which is located in the region of Bitala. All the sports teams under the name Pelister are supported by the fans known as Kambari. According to the 1948 census Bitala had 30,761 inhabitants. 77.2%, or 23,734 inhabitants, were Macedonians, 11.5%, or 3,543 inhabitants, were Turks, 4.3%, or 1,327 inhabitants, were Albanians, 3%, or 912 inhabitants, were Serbs and 1.3%. Or 402 inhabitants, or Aramanian status of 2002. The city of Bitala has 74,550 inhabitants, and the ethnic composition is the following. According to the 2002 census, the most common languages in the city are the following Bitala is a bishopric city and the seat of the Diocese of Prespa Pelagonia. In World War II, the diocese was named Orid. Bitala. With the restoration of the autocephaly of the Macedonian Orthodox Church in 1967, it got its present name Prespa Pelagonia Diocese which covers the following regions and cities, Vitala, Rizan, Prelap, Khrushchevo, and Demirhisar.
Kramer, the first bishop of the diocese, 1958-1979, was Mr. Clement. The second and current bishop and administrator of the diocese, responsible as bishop since 1981 is Mr. Peter. The Presbypalagonia diocese has about 500 churches and monasteries. In the last 10 years in the diocese have been built or are being built about 40 churches and 140 church buildings. The diocese has two church museums the Cathedral St. Martyr Demetrius in Betalon at the Church St. John in Khrushchev and permanent exhibition of icons and libraries in the building of the seat of the diocese. The seat building was built between 1901 and 1902 and is one of the most beautiful examples of the Baroque architecture. Besides the dominant Macedonian Orthodox Church in Betala there are other major religious groups such as the Islamic Community, the Roman Catholic Church and others. According to the 2002 census the religious composition of the city is the following. Betala has been part of the UNESCO Creative Cities Network since December 2015. Is the oldest film festival in the world who value the work of cinematographers. In memories of the first cameraman on the Balkans, Milton Menaki, every September the film and photo festival Brothers Menaki takes place. It is a combination of documentary and full length films that are being shown. The festival is a world class event and it is a must see. Every year the festival brings world recognized actors including Catherine Deneuve, Isabel Huppert, Victoria Abril, Predrag Manjlovic, Michael York, Juliette Binoche. Rade Sherbagia. Every year, the traditional folk festival in Linden Days takes place in Bita. It is a four to five day festival of music, songs, and dances that is dedicated to the Alinden uprising against the Turks, where the main concentration is placed on the folk culture of Macedonia. Folk dances and songs are presented with many folklore groups and organizations taking part in it. In the last few years, the art manifestation Small Montmartre of Bitala that is organized by the art studio Kirill and Metodij has turned into a successful children's art festival. Children from all over the world come to express their imagination through art, creating important and priceless art that is present in the country and around the world. Small Montmartre of Bitala is a winner of numerous awards and nominations. Vitolino is an annual children's theater festival held in August with the Babak Theater. Every year professional children's theaters from all over the world participate in the festival. The main prize is the Grand Prix for Best Performance. Every May, Bitala hosts the International Children's Song Festival CEDO, which in recent years has gained much popularity. Children from all over Europe participate in this event which usually consists of about 20 songs. This festival is supported by Pro Media which organizes the event with a new topic each year. Many Macedonian musicians have participated in the festival including, Next Time and Karolina Gaseva who both represented Macedonia at the Eurovision Song Contest. It is an international festival dedicated mainly to classical music where many creative and reproductive artists from all over the world take place. In addition to the classical music concerts, there are also few nights for pop modern music, theater plays, art exhibitions, and a day for literature presentation during the event. In the last few years there have been artists from Russia, Slovakia, Poland, and many other countries. For the reason of Bitala being called the city with most pianos, there is one night of the festival dedicated to piano competitions. One award is given for the best young piano player, and another for competitors under 30. The Acto Festival for Contemporary Arts is a regional festival. The festival includes visual arts, performing arts, Music and Theory of Culture. The first ACTO festival was held in 2006. The aim of the festival is to open the cultural frameworks of a modern society through recomposing and redefining them in a new context. In the past, the festival featured artists from regional countries like Slovenia, Greece, or Bulgaria, but also from Germany, Italy, France, and Austria. His annual festival of monodrama held in April in organization of Center of Culture of Bitala every year. Many actors from all over the world come in Bitala to play monodramas. This authentic cultural and tourist event which has existed since 2007. Founder and organizer of the festival is the Association of Citizens Center for Cultural Decontamination Bitala. The festival is held every year in mid July in the heart of the old Turkish bazaar in Bitala, as part of Bitala Cultural Summer Bitfest. St. Clement of Ored University of Bitala, was founded in 1979, as a result of dispersed processes that occurred in education in the 1970s, and increasing demand of highly skilled professionals outside the country's capital. Since 1994, it has carried the name of the Slavic educator St. Clement of Ored. 
the university has institutes in Bitala, Orit, and Prelap, and headquarters in Bitala. With its additions in education and science, it has established itself, and cooperates with the University of St. Cyril and Methodius from Skopje and other universities in the Balkans and Europe. The following institutes and scientific organizations are part of the university. There are seven high schools in Bitala. Ten primary schools in Bitala are. Some notable people born in Bitala are. Bitala participates in town twinning to foster good international relations. Its current partners include. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.